As more states have moved to reopen and lift mask mandates, the nation's schools have been put in a particularly challenging position, many operating with mask mandates for in-person classes as most students remain unvaccinated. And meanwhile, battle lines have been drawn in communities between parents who still want their children wearing masks in school and those calling to get classes back to normal. ABC's Faith Abube has this story. Like many parents across the country, Amy and Brandon Stafford struggled with the decision to send their children back for in-person learning in the middle of a global health pandemic. Brandon Stafford suffers a condition that puts him at a high risk for the coronavirus, and they feared the kids could bring the virus back home. Hands down, that was the absolute most difficult decision that my husband and I ever had to make. But the Texas parents quickly devised ways to make it work, finding some comfort in a mandate that required students at their kids' school to mask up. But the sense of safety they felt came crashing down on March 2nd. I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's a new order, meaning across the state, schools were no longer required to keep their mask mandate in place, many immediately abandoning or relaxing their stance. We were ready to pull our youngest out, despite his special needs, and which would have been absolutely detrimental to his education. But we were put in a very difficult choice of either my husband's health or my son's education. Zev Capo is the president of the Texas chapter of the American Federation of Teachers. There was a significant level of fear and concern for uh, students, but for the employees in particular that we represent. Texas isn't alone. Like the Lone Star State, 13 other states across the country have now lifted their mask mandates. As pressure to return to normal built, vaccines become widely available and COVID cases drop in many states. But with the I'm pandemic sure. still not over, the decision has pit some communities against each other. Less than 10% of COVID-19 cases in the United States have been among children and adolescents aged 5 to 17 years. Based on the average number of people we meet throughout our lives, that's about four to five people at this point in your life you're willing to sacrifice so that kids don't have to wear masks in schools. Parents should be given the right to choose, just as our governor has given all of us the right to choose. Parents on both sides of the issue against school administrators and tensions boiling over during school board meetings. It's April 15th, 2021, and it's time. Take these masks off of my child. In some states, schools within the same county making opposite decisions after governors eased their restrictions. One keeping masks in place, the other lifting the restrictions. This virus doesn't consider district lines. Uh, and it doesn't make any sense when you're looking at it from an epidemiological or medical standpoint that you would allow individual districts, uh, in many cases where, where a street could be dividing the decision on whether kids and staff wear masks or not, um, you know, that's just not a way to make public policy. In Arkansas, cross-county school superintendent Nathan Morris lifted his district's mask mandate after Governor Issa Hutchinson's order easing restrictions. While down the street in the same county, Wynn School District has kept its order in place, choosing instead to follow CDC guidelines. At that time that we made the decision, our county was down to under 10 cases uh, and uh, 10 positives in the whole county. Um, we had none in the school. Too many times we're making politically beneficial decisions instead of science and health-based decisions. And this is not a political matter. It's a health matter. The Sorter Family School District in Birdville, Texas, chose to relax its mandate for children in third grade and below, while still requiring masks for older kids. Well, it bothers us for one thing because we have our kids' friends who are in those classrooms. The patchwork of school mask policies in communities across the country also creating some confusion among family members. We have a child in second grade and we have a child in fourth grade. So we have one kid that ha that for our own safety, you know, and for the safety of others wears a mask, but then we have another one who is told, well, you don't have to, it's optional. And I just think that that sends the wrong message. But officials in the Stafford and Sorter families Birdville School District see it from a different view, welcoming the choice to make decisions based on local data and what the majority of their parents want. The nice part is, is Texans do desire 
uh, local governing. So I applaud that. I, I do wish we had a little more time. In Texas and several other states, schools were caught off guard with no plan in place when governors lifted their statewide mask mandates. There were several days where people were almost in a, a paralytic state because they didn't know what was actually going on. I received the email at 4 p.m the night before it went into effect. I didn't know that the special board meeting was even happening. Andrew Morales, a fourth grade social studies teacher, says he was livid after hearing Governor Abbott's announcement lifting the mask mandate. Unclear what was next for him, his students, and school staff. Some of the bigger school districts, I'm sure, were scrambling more so than we were um, on whether or not they were going to receive pushback, how they wanted to, to um, go moving forward. Weeks now into the new normal, the lifting of the statewide mask mandate has also made way for new lawsuits. Bonnie Anderson and five other parents whose school has kept the mask mandate in place despite the governor lifting the requirement are now taking their case to a judge hoping to lift their school's order. The lawsuit was something I've been trying to do all year and there were no attorneys really interested in doing it until there was no governor's order to I say hide behind, but kind of stand, you know, to use as the reason why they were doing that. But no matter where they stand on the issue, one thing many parents agree on is that the pandemic and governors have put schools in a difficult position. By the governor lifting the mandate, that forced a lot of school districts to make some very hard choices. But they should have defaulted to the CDC or, you know, a qualified authority uh, entity in order to make that decision. In Texas, Faith Abube, ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.